So this is the first part of how to characterize uh, objects and their spectral behavior. We will close this and have a, a look on the two other possibilities of using the uh, profile tool. So we have the spatial profile. This is orientated along a profile which you can create with this um, polyline and you will only draw a polyline through your area you are represent, uh, interested in and you will see um, the spectral behavior so we have a small decline in the first bands and you have to select your bands over here and but yeah maybe this um, this uh, polyline wasn't that interesting so let's go um, to another area therefore once again open a new select this make a new polyline and this is straight through the forest so we will have a second profile and as you can see um, this is some undulating um, behavior here but this is due to maybe some kind of problems in the sensor or maybe on um, a different way of how or a different percentage of trees covering the ground and you will have that undulating uh, behavior in the first three bands in the fourth bands you will have some major differences in the spectral um, spectral reflectance and also in the fifth band there's much more amplitude here in the or variance maybe in the in the values and in the sixth band it's quite the same like in the first three bands. So this is the second way of having some information about your object. And the third way is to make a surface out of it. Therefore, you will just create a rectangle in your area like this over here. Let's take this. And this rectangle is now represented in its reflectance in the special bands. So you have the band one. You can see this whitish object over here, which is probably some kind of big um, house or anything else. You will have, or well, it is reflected over here. And you can just go through that. And you can see it's really good to see here in the third band and in the fourth bands, no information at all. So you just have undulating feature over here. So it's nearly quite stable in the fourth band to, in its reflectance. Fifth band, totally different point of view. And sixth band as well. But let us now once again have a um, view on the spectral profile of special objects. So there um, are some kind of example uh, for the k-means algorithm. I would like to show you the spectral profile of a forest. You can see here now. So I think this will fit our needs. So it's now seven uh, graphs you can see here, all are representing forest. So this is dark green. Apply, close. And um, as a second object, I would like to show you water. Once again, I've shown you beforehand I know but I will now do it once again so and maybe another lake this really dark lake over here and I will show you that in the color of blue so as you can see here you will have the differences in and we yeah, are the Amplitude here is about 40 units in the fourth band and in the fifth band about three units, uh, 30 units. And um, having this in mind, we would like to, oh, I would like to show you how to differentiate between these two objects. And this is a water object and this is a forest object, in my words, um, using only the information in the third and the fourth band. Therefore, I will now switch over to um, PowerPoint and show you that in PowerPoint. Using some pixel out of water and some pixels out of forest and please keep in mind that this value is about 35 in the third band so no real difference between these two uh, physical bodies and uh, you will find a digital number of about 20 in the fourth band for water and 60 
uh, for forests. So keeping that in mind, we will just flip over to that chart. So we will print the values of the band number three against the values of the band number four. And looking back at this, in the band number three, both um, bodies have the same reflectance of about the digital number 35. So we will have here water and here a pixel with forest. And yeah, we will not only concentrate on one pixel, we will concentrate on a lot of more pixels. So about 50 pixels over here, 50 pixels over here. So what is now done, We the computer tries to separate these two bodies in two classes. Therefore, you will use an iterative way. So in the first iteration he will just search for or he will just use two centers uh, or two centroids. So this is over here and there's the center over here and he uh, is now trying to make a solution of a uh, classification using two classes and this is, this is special on the k-means so for k-means you will need uh, as a number or a given number of classes and for this it's obviously there are two classes of bodies water and forest so in the first step uh, he will uh, or the PC is um, segmentating the uh, this um, kind of graph over here so we will have one class over here one class over here, over there and so as you can see only 10% maybe of all the pixels are belonging to the class number one and 90% of the pixels belonging to the class number two. So in the next step he will compute the centroids of these classes. So the new centroids of these classes are here. So it's about not 50% over here, there are 40% over here. So this is one centroid and another centroid is among the, these pixels. So. Once again, we will um, try to segmentate the, um, this graph into two sides, this side and the second side, and we will find a quite good solution um, because all the water pixels are on one side of this line and all the forest pixels are on the other side of the line. But as you can see, the centroid of this class is way out of the forest area. So once again, we will compute another solution. The centroid is now in the middle of all the, all the pixels from forest. And here the same, the uh, centroid of this class is uh, again in the middle of the uh, pixels of water and now we are finished with this quite um, yeah, simple example um, just by concentrating on two classes using only forest and water now you have to um, think about using not only a two-dimensional space like the band number four and band number three but using a six-dimensional space and with much more um, interaction between these pixel classes so you will not only you will, won't find any gaps between this so you're trying to segmentate these um, this this space into a certain number of classes